Taking care of an older loved one can be an exhausting but also rewarding time if you know how to listen. Du Bois author Joyce Rupp has a new book out that is perfect for anyone facing this situation. She joins me now. This, Joyce, thank you so much for coming in. You're how welcome. many books have you written? What is this one now? Number this is my 23rd. 23rd, <laughs> wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. How did this book come up about Fly While You Still Have Wings? What does that title mean? Well, you know, the last 10 years of my mother's life, that was her motto. My mother lived with a lot of gusto. And uh, she just, she loved life, and she had a lot of health problems, but she still wanted to enter every day with as much enthusiasm as she could, and she had a great sense of humor. Um, you know, she was a very resilient woman, and when she was 17, her mother uh, died hem hemorrhaged to death, giving birth to a 13th child. And my mother was the oldest of those remaining children, and so she took over that household. You know, it was a Great Depression, mm -hmm. her dad was out of work, so she grew up with that, uh, you know, mm -hmm. into adulthood with that resilience, and it really carried through into her older years. Mm -hmm. But she still experienced a lot of what older pe people experience. And as you <coughs> found, as a caretaker watching mm -hmm. her age, you, you wanted to take care of her, but maybe not what she wanted. And as she faced death, these are lessons in here, issues that we all face when we take care of elderly. What lessons? Why did you mm. write the book? You know, I wrote the book for two reasons. I wrote it for older people so they'll have some confidence in what they're going through and know that it's not so strange for them to experience it. But I really wrote it for younger people so they won't make the mistakes that I made <laughs> with my mother. Um, I didn't really understand how tough it was for my mother to age because she was so resilient. Mm -hmm. And I lived in Des Moines and she was three and a half hours away in Cherokee and I went one weekend a month to visit her. And I just, so many things. I, I remember one day I was cleaning her kitchen cupboards and I thought, oh, she'll love that. And I heard her from the other room. She's sitting there, her ankles are swollen, and she can hardly breathe, and she calls out and says, do you know how that makes me feel, you cleaning my cupboards? And I walked in the other room and I sat down and I gave her this little sermon and I said, well, you raised eight kids, Mom, and you know how we need to help you now. And later on, I realized what she wanted was for me to listen and say, what does it feel like? What is it like to be so diminished and not be able to do what you used to do and mm -hmm. move from active into, into being stage, which was really tough for her to do. And you felt guilt. Have you moved past that now and, and, and shared, mm -hmm. as you said, what you've learned and how we all can deal? In yeah, this situation. Molly, that's such a it's such a good point because I had a lot of regrets, mm -hmm. and I realized it was actually in writing the book that I worked through those regrets, mm -hmm. and I feel very differently about them now. That's really a matter of saying, you know, I have to forgive myself. I didn't understand. Mm -hmm. I wish I'd done things differently, um, but I think it's real important to to look at those regrets that we have, and hopefully, you know, if people read this book, they can. Um, maybe make some decisions with their parents that, you know, are really healthy and good and mm -hmm. asking them what they want instead of treating them like children, that's a big one. You know? Very much so, and how they all face mm -hmm. situations differently. I've learned yeah. so much from this, and it's a book for everyone, as you said, mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. those of us taking care of elderly parents or friends, and also how to deal with the end right. of life. You have yeah. a book signing come up, so we want to let everybody know yeah. it's at Beaverdale Books this coming, no, March 28th at 2 p.m., 2629 Beaver Avenue. And for more on Joyce and her retreats and everything else that she does, I don't know how you had time to come in here today, go to JoyceRupp.com. Thank you for sharing your inspirations and your thoughts. We appreciate it. Oh, very thank much. you, Molly. I love being with you. You bet. Thanks we'll a see lot. you next book, okay? Okay. <laughs> All right, it's a deal. We'll be back with more right after this.